All right, folks. This should be an exciting day. Now, as you guys know, I try to be very sincere on here, and uh, I don't do, you know, rude product placements and things like that where I try to, you know, talk you into uh, buying any particular product or using any particular resource, but I do every now and then like to tell you uh, about uh, some things that that I enjoy that really work well for me. And um, I had a package show up. Um, I don't know how to open this stupid thing. Uh, uh, somewhere there's a, uh, a label on the top that... Uh, um, oh, here we go. All right, a company called Thomas & Betts. This is a viewer actually uh, just said, uh, I'm going to send you this, see what you think of it. And I like cool stuff. And if I find cool stuff that works for you, I will show it to you. I'm going to show this to you no matter what. So let's check this out. If you guys have paid attention and seen my other videos, how do you get in there? Um, you would have seen that I really like these flush mount cable ties, right? By that I mean they, they have this really nice shallow head on them. And instead of this poking through like this, you see, if you're trying to seal something round, like I see you guys using these all the time on your uh, fuel lines and uh, your water lines, if you're trying to seal them all the way around, why would you use a thing that creates one weak point um, on that style? So I like these, because then I get a full circle clamp, right? I use them uh, primarily, because I don't know, maybe they make little tiny ones I could use here, I don't know. Uh, but see, look, look how sexy, it's not super sexy because this looks like crap right now, but um, see how nice that is, real tight. And then uh, what I do is I, I uh, run these through and I have this whole process. Let's do one. Um, I want them really tight, right? But it's hard to pull this really tight and make it get super tight. So I wind up grabbing a screwdriver. I'm screwdriver. <laughs> Don't laugh. All right, I'm still working on my on my coffee. I grab a pair of needle nose, put them in here, and the screwdriver. And I'll put the screwdriver against this part, and then I'll sit here and rotate it. Right? And that's how I get it tight, and it's a pain in the butt. And now you got this big part hanging out, okay? So you can use, uh, oh, scissors or regular cutters or something, right? And you wind up with this sharp tail here. Next thing you do is drag it apart across the soft part of your skin and rip yourself all up. So then I have these flush cut needle nose and your needle nose. My God, I'm tempted to start the video over. Flush cut, you would call them wire cutters, but they're not. You don't cut wire with these things. Flush cut nippers, where they have this specially ground end here that you can get it on here and cut this really nice and tight. Okay, so that's a process. And yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna solve that, but this is, well, let me show you. It's a big box for a small thing. Ooh, hey. Okay. The company, product line of the company. The company is Thomas and Betts at tnb.com. They have kind of one of those industrial style websites that's kind of hard to find your way around, but holy smokes, look up tie wraps on their website. And I believe if I remember right, it came up with 1,191 products. No kidding. Those are small. Hang on, let's look at that first. I already got some out here that I was gonna play with. Okay. Yeah, these are the these are the small style. This type of thing you would use on on a water line if you're going to do that. And it's pretty similar to this style. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Kind of cool, kind of an oval head. Okay, no sharp corners. All right, sexy design. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? Did they show did they show it on here in larger view? Grip of steel. <laughs> There's a metal tang down in there. And the body of it is smooth. So you're not having to go click by click, right? 
that metal tang will bite in anywhere. When you get the right tension, you're done, and that's the right spot. Okay, that's cool. All right, I dig it. All right, those are cool. Wish there were some bigger ones I could play with on, uh, let's, uh, in fact, let's play with this guy here. I use this big clamp on my nitro setup, mainly because I don't want the pipe scooting around, you know? And uh, I, I clamp it right, you can kind of tell right where the end of the actual body of the pipe itself ends as it slips over the header. Huh? Sexy, huh? Right? Custom taper and everything. Uh, anyway, uh, and, and that's just to keep the pipe from moving around much. I mean, I mean, of course, I have another mount, you know, adjustable mount back here and so on to work on it. But same deal happens here with my flush mount deals. I get them as tight as I can, but I've had these things scoot. And uh, so we're hoping we solve that. Let's keep going. Dude. He sent me a picture and I thought this was going to be some cheesy little plastic made by CH Ina Incorporated thing, but it's not. It's their own official doohickey. Oh, man. <laughs> As Doug on Forged and Fire would say, feels good in the hand. <laughs> that's a real, that's a real tool. Okay, so the idea is it's supposed to pull the tire wrap, and you've all seen these before. I've seen them and I've used them and they're garbage. Not this brand, I, I, I don't know on this one yet, but I've used this style thing and they're cheap and flimsy and garbage. This thing feels high quality. Looks like we have tension adjustments here. Directions, bad. Anyway, yeah, I assume that's a tension adjustment, okay. Don't know what these squeezy parts do. Here we have another adjustment, positive, negative. Let's turn it. It's moving. It's turning. Oh, okay. Can you see that gap increasing? That's changing my, my uh, trigger position for even more comfortable positioning. I don't know why this says high gear, low gear. I guess it, I guess you shift this thing. <laughs> oh, maybe the button. Low gear. Okay, it moved. High gear, low gear. I don't get it. Directions. Oh, I love pictorial directions. Okay. Width settings. No doubt those are, yes, tension adjustments for the different width tire apps. Um, C, okay. Don't know why it says C. Uh, yes, span adjust for where the trigger is. Oh! Oh, groovy. Okay, you can reposition that to wherever is most comfortable for you or whatever you need to get into the spot. Okay, high gear, low gear. Oh, it adjusts how far it pulls it. Okay, that's full pull. Shift to low gear. Okay, that's still full pull. High gear. Hold on, let's put some tension on it. Oh yeah. Full pull and that's serious. Low pull. Ah, okay, doesn't pull as much, kind of gives up halfway. Very good. We're going for a high pull, full strength. Hold on, let me go get my dog. See, I told you I was just getting started. Yes, your majesty, come on in. No snacks right now, I'm busy. See how long that lasts. Okay, so I think we got it. All right, we pull it. Put it in any position you want. Um, squeeze those deals. Ah, disassemble it. Golly, this is a serious. Okay. Tension locking, if you want to lock it. All right, good, that's enough of that. Zip tie. We're gonna go large. 
transfer and say I wanted to use a zip tie instead of that heavy metal clamp. Okay, now what I would typically do again is I'd grab my needle nose, grab hold of this, stick a screwdriver up against it, twist till I got a good tension, then I'd grab my little nippers and cut it off so I wouldn't cut myself with it. But today, we're going to use this guy. It's a set on one, but that sounds really wimpy. Let's go up to five. Okay, five, high gear. Here we go. I think I'm in there. Pull the trigger. Oh, that, that went super easy. Ooh, cut it beautifully flush. Wow. Son! That's not good enough. Let's go tighter. Yeah. I know. He wants a snack. I managed to inadvertently train him to come out to the shop and he'd get a snack. I did it because I like the company, you know, so I wanted him to come out. And but now it's all about the snack. Sit. Hey, come on now. Okay, ready? Sit pretty. Yes, that's my boy. All right, now leave me alone. Oh, I just stuck my hand in grease. Yeah, the shop's a disaster. Still, just a little shop. I don't want to talk about the big shop. I just spent a whole bunch more money on a, another site survey that the state wants done. Okay. Do I, do I go to eight? I mean, that was for those big ones. That would go to eight. Oh, come on, baby. Ugh. Wow. Okay, fine and dandy. So that works for regular zip ties, but will it work on these? Um, let me get those out of the way. Are you still watching? Why? I mean, maybe this matters to you. This kind of stuff really matters to me. I love, uh, I love cool stuff and I love things that work right. My process, look at that, I nipped that. Hasn't been the best. All right, this is what it's all about right here. We're gonna use my super cool proper circle, low profile, Zip ties. I wonder if this is in the camera. Can you see it? Okay. See, as you can tell, it's really hard to make those tight. Yeah, I can push it all over the place. I don't know. Do I risk? I'm going to... Uh, they say if you give someone three choices, low, medium, and high, they'll always take the middle choice. Let's go medium. I'm still staying on the high pull here. That's not going to... Maybe it'll work upside down. Okay, so I'm going to go down up against it. I'm set on five. Wow, gosh, that it must just provide an amazing amount of torque because it doesn't feel like it's getting tight. Oh, cut it beautifully flush. Oh, and it's nice and tight. Dude. Are you kidding me? Alright, what's it do on a cheap... Oh wait, let's use theirs. Is that big enough? Come on. Oh, I know. I know what you're thinking. Waterline. Again, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan. Because, um, well, I already showed you. I, I don't like that it doesn't lay out a, a beautiful full circle. This has always been my habit. And I have never had one fail. Mitch at Quick Draw told me this was going to pop off. Nope. I double over. So yeah, there's another piece of tubing laying on it. And it, it takes some effort to get that off. You ever done this? Um, okay, how are you going to put that on there, right? Just get this guy. Stretch it out. Put it over. And you're clamped. 
Okay? However, for sake of argument and discussion, let's see what happens with their metal grip. Like, I'm going to need it to go as tight as that thing will allow. I bet you can go crazy tight. I kind of got the feeling I shouldn't go to five or eight on this one. Dog, please. Serious. Old dog. Of course, my wife says that I kind of just live for food too, but boats have a little bit to do with it. Let's go two, and let's go low gear. Doesn't that just feel right for a little tiny thing? Okay. Ooh, man, I'm telling you, I don't know. I just, I'm just going to buy a whole bag of zip ties just to sit here and pull this thing all day. What'd it do? Beautifully flush. I do love that oval head. Okay. Dude, don't get me wrong. If you like the zip tie thing on here, that's awesome. I think if I was doing it for real, I would rotate it down so it's not sticking up, but holy cow. Okay, um, that's a serious, what did I set it at? Two. Okay, well, that's no joke. If you, uh, if you like using, I'm gonna have to replace that line now because I'm, golly, these, are, these things are killer, dude. Come off of there. That's serious business. Okay, I think there you have it. I now have the coolest of all time tools for setting my tie wraps. That's T-Y-R-A-P. And this, I mean, that's a lifetime tool right there. All right, and get you some. Dang. Okay, still working on the boats. Uh, paint coming up soon. Uh, hope you like it. Maybe I'll put a, a link to the, uh, the company down in... Uh, the video down below. All right. Catch you guys next time. Man.